Only thing I probably need to open up with is if I do three times square root of five, can I do anything with that? Three no. Three squared. Which means exactly the same thing, right? Yeah. Uh, so you don't really do anything. But if, if I have square root of three times square root of five, that is square root of 15. Okay, so that's like the one rule that you kind of need to remember. Also, we're going to be simplifying square roots today, so if you have a Casio, you have an advantage here. I think I might buy a few more Casios you can share with your friends share? or neighbors. This is capital, right? We don't share here. Okay, so we're jumping in on number one is square root of 8 times square root of 7. You could actually simplify square root of 8 before you multiply it, or you can just multiply it and then simplify it. I'm, it's probably easier to simplify first. What's the square root of 8 break down to? Yeah, it's 2 square root of 2, and does the square root of 7 break down? Yeah. You would have to kind of do them both at once. Anyway, so 2 is on the outside, and 2 and 7 are on the inside, so 2 times 7 is 14. Like that. Or, let me show you the other way. My, this might make more sense. 8 times 7 is 56. And then you break it down from there. So it's, you know, pretty much exactly the same. So it's 2 square root of 14. I think I'll do. Uh, I think I'll be doing the first method of breaking it down before multiplying. Number three. Uh oh, Cassio can't help us now. No, sure. it's ruined. Ruined your day. No, right? I got it. Cubed. Okay, you, you do it. <clears throat> Cubed root of sixteen. Oh no, I was looking at two. Well, I have two. <laughs> Plus cube root of four. So the only difference on cube root is you need three of them to break out, not two. So what was I put plus. Okay, four, four. Actually, I could kind of stop here because four, four, four. Anyway, 16 times 4 is 64. Actually, our calculators could have done this one, turns out. Ah. Not, not even, not just the Cassius, all of them. 16 times 4 is 64. The cube root of 64 is 4. Now, I could have broken this down some more, right? 2, 2, 2, 2. But there's 3 2s and 3 2s, so it's 2 times 2. So once I saw the three fours, I, I was really done. Is it just four? Yeah, just normal four. Cube root of 64 is normal four, because four times four times four is 64. Okay, what kind of problem is number five? Distribution. Distribution. So what's the first term going to be? 21. 21. What's the second term going to be? 7. Seven. Two. Hey, can I do anything else? No. See how easy this is. Oh my. So that's it. Don't, don't say look how easy it is. We're only number 5. I just jinxed you. See, that, we always do that. We're like, oh, this isn't so bad. And then 6 problems. Yeah, we're at number 3. We get hit by our right hook, <laughs> and it sucks. When it gets in here, I a train is traveling three hundred fifty kilometers. The train starts at six forty-five a.m. Makes a train. Okay. Uh, let's see. Is that on the the problem? On number six, the first. Okay. On number six, the first term should be written as x squared of five. Why should it not be written as square root of five x? Because it's not a like term. Okay. Because the x is not under the square root, and if you write at the end, it looks like it might be. So, in that case, we would put, yeah, the x in front of the square root. 
Normally we put the numbers in front, right? But in this case, we put the x in front because if you put it back here, it looks like it's under the square root. Okay, six. Six. You're looking at six. Six. You had to be on the intro for me to, for that to make sense. Number seven. Square root of three times two plus square root of three. Is it one square root though? Oh. I wrote down seven. Alright, what's the first term going to be? Uh, 3 squared to 3. 2 squared to 3. 2 squared to 3. Plus 9. Plus square to 3 times square to 3. 3. Right, normal term. Anytime you take a square root times itself, that cancels out the square root because you're squaring the square root. And Okay, number nine, those are called conjugates. Have we talked about that word before? I think so. Um, wait a minute, it cancels out. So it's five times five plus, which is well, the, 25. The middle, the middle cancel out. The first yes. Okay, the but normally this would be what kind of problem? Foil. 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 First terms, outside terms, inside terms, last terms. So first is five times five. Yes, which would make that. Um, outside is 5 times square root of 2 plus 5, square plus five square root of 2. Inside, inside is minus 5 square root of 2. Yeah, if you look here, it's negative 5 square root of 2 minus 5 square root of 2. So those cancel out. That happens on conjugates. Conjugates are basically the same thing except for one has a plus in the middle, the other has a minus in the middle. And then the last two terms. Plus 2? It's just negative 2, right? Minus 2, right. So it'd be 20. So yeah, we have 25 at the beginning and minus 2 here at the end, so that is 23. If you remember what conjugates are, you don't really have to do the entire FOIL. You can just do first and last. If you're unclear on what conjugates are, just FOIL it. Okay. Are there any more conjugates? Yeah. Besides 12? Yeah, 13 is one. 10 is one. Okay, uh, number 11, is that a conjugate? Yeah. No, it's y minus square root of 3 times y minus square root of 3. Okay, what would the first term be? Y squared. Y squared. So y times y. What would the outside be? Um, negative y squared 3. Right. Put the y in front. That way you don't. It doesn't look like a square root of 3y. And the next one would also be negative y. Next, yeah. The inside is the same thing. And what's the last? That'd be 3, right? Right. Negative times negative is positive. Square root of 3 times square root of 3 is normal three. Okay, our middle two terms, do they cancel out? No. no. They add. add. It's basically negative one y squared to three minus one y squared to three. So it'd be negative two y squared to three. Right. So the middle becomes negative two y squared to three plus three. Seven plus two i. It's another conjugate. It's a conjugate. Whoops. We're gonna need to know conjugates on Wednesday's assignment. I think it was. Yeah. So you just need no tomorrow. So tomorrow. It's just seven times seven. Okay, seven times seven. Which is forty nine. Maybe that'll be the last two. Yeah, okay, outside, just, I'll go with this quickly. It would be minus 14i, inside is plus 14i, so those things will out. And then the last two, minus, four. minus close, four. 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 okay, what, it's been a while, what about i squared? 
I, no, it goes first. One, one, negative one. It is negative one. So this is actually minus four times negative one. So it's plus four. So it's plus four. What? It's actually minus four times negative one. Why? Because the negative i squared. squared. Remember i, what i actually stood for was the oh, square I thought, they, I thought they were using it as a variable. I don't know. They never use i's for variables. Okay. Um, i uh, stands for squared to negative one. So when you square it, it just equals it's squared. actually just negative one. So i is an imaginary number, i squared is a real number. Mind blown. Alright, so we got 49 plus 4, which is 53. Is it like that on number 12? Uh, yes, they're conjugates, so they'll, it'll be minus i squared, so it'll be minus, minus 1. At the end. All right, that was 13. 15, 2 squared is 65 times 4, sorry, you square root, I said it again. 2 to the 65th times 4 to the 10th. It's 3.86. Okay, we're not going to, I know they didn't say this, but we're not going to turn this into a, to a gigantic number that doesn't fit on your page. We're going to write it simpler. This is 15. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is change them so that they have the same base. So how can I rewrite 4 so it looks like this? Well, you multiply 10 by whatever it is. Okay, 4 is, if I turn 4 into a base of 2, what, what could I call it? 4 is 2 to the what? 11. Second, four is two squared, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So I'm gonna rewrite this as two to the sixty-fifth times four squared to the tenth. Oops, sorry, two squared to the tenth. Okay, are we good so far? What is two to the second to the tenth? Twenty. Multiply in that case. What's well, 2 to the 65th times 2 to the 20th? 4 to the 85th? No, close. It's 2 to the 85th. Yes, you add the exponents. I don't really get that one, but I'm okay with that. So, yeah, anyway, I just turned everything into twos, basically. Oh, uh, okay. So we have. 85, if you look in here, that just means we have 85 twos multiplied together. How would you okay, if you plug in your calculator, it has to do scientific notation because it's not even close to fitting on your calculator. <clears throat> but we're not doing scientific notation, so we'll see like that. On 14 and 15, we're doing with x's like the variables, or does that change like? Yeah, um. Okay, on 14, 25, you can turn it into 5 to the what? 5 to the second. 5 to the second. So it's 5 to the x times 5 to the second cubed. Did I write that right? 5 to the second cubed, yeah. And then, so what would this be? Six. Yeah, five to the x plus six. Those don't add nicely, so it's just five to the x plus six. And sixteen is similar. I'll let you guys try that one then. Okay, on nineteen and twenty. Nineteen, how do we find the area of a rectangle? Do we not do 17? Oh, do I skip 17? Yeah, okay. 17. <laughs> fine, fine. 2 to the 40th, 2 to the 11th minus 3. That's a weird problem. Uh, 
okay. The first part actually simplifies, right? What's 2 to the 40th times 2 to the 11th? 2 to the 51st. 2 to the 51st. We're not going to touch that. We'll put it on the calculator or anything. Um, what's 2 to the 40th times a minus 3? Well, they don't really mix, so we're just going to put minus 3 times 2 to the 40th. That's it? The end. Again, that would not fit on the calculator. Oh, really Even, I mean, your calculator gives you scientific notation, but they have to round it off, so you can't really see what the actual answer is. Too big. Number 19. How do we find the area of a rectangle? Uh, times width. Times width. Uh, on 20, how do you find the area of a triangle? Um, base times height. One. You have to divide by two. Yeah, one half. Yeah. And just like you can only multiply normal numbers with normal numbers, when you divide by two, you're dividing the normal number by two. That automatically divides the rest of the term. Okay. Five plus square root of three times four minus square root of three, right? So what kind of problem is this? Foil. Okay, first, 20, outside. Inside. And last would be square root of three times minus square root of three. Minus three. And the inside is Okay, I'm going to start with the normals. 12, 20 minus 3, 17, and minus 5 square root of 3 plus 4 square root of 3. Minus, square root of three. minus 1 square root of 3. Minus square root of 3. Been doing it even. 21 x plus 2 squared is 6 times x plus 4 squared is 6. First, x squared. Outside, uh, 4 x squared is 6. All these are positive, so we don't have to worry about that. Inside. Plus 2 squared is 6. 2x squared is 6. So we're not, re I, we're not really even doing anything. We're just kind of putting them together. But the, yeah, usually the x goes after the, for, after the normal number before the radical. Um, 2 squared is 6. Last. 2 squared is 6 times 4 squared is 6. So this should have been like a problem from number 1. <laughs> Okay, the two and the four. So this is just two times square root of six times four times square root of six, right? Yeah. And order of multiplication doesn't matter, so I can multiply whatever I want or can together. I can do two times four, right? Yeah. Which is what? Eight. 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 And I can also do what square root of six times square root of six? six. 36. Square root of 36, which is six. six. So this is actually 8 times 6, 48. If it comes out as a normal number like that, that means all calculators can do it. But usually the Texas instrument spits out decimals and for uh, radicals. Um, so that whole line well, there's something else we can do. We can combine the four. The two middle terms are like terms, right? So plus four of these plus two of these equals plus six of those. Stays the same. No, we're not multiplying, so it's not changing. And then plus four. Come
Mann. Three plus two i squared. What's the first? Nine. What's the outside? Forget i times i. We're multiplying, so it's four i squared. Uh, what's four i squared actually equal to? Four times negative one, which is negative four. So I'm going to start with the normals. Nine minus four plus six i plus six i. Why is it not 12i squared? Because that's multiplied. I, I squared means i times i. I only have to multiply. Uh, 